There are seven foods all kidney patients should eat regularly. They can lower blood pressure, reduce inflammation, and control insulin resistance. Yes, these miraculously healthy superfoods can seriously help repair kidney damage, but only if you eat them regularly. Catherine from Double Kidney here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Let's start immediately. Our number seven is a powerful detoxifier with many health benefits. Let's see it. Onions! These amazing vegetables are a rich source of fiber and prebiotics, which are necessary for optimal gut health. Very important. And people with kidney problems should be eating onions every day for a lot of other reasons too. First of all, they're very low in potassium, phosphorus, and calories. They're also easy to find and can be added to a million different dishes. But most important, onions can seriously improve your kidney health. They're one of the best sources of sulfur, which is what makes you cry when you cut them. But it's also a powerful kidney detoxifier. And sulfur also acts as a natural blood thinner to protect your heart and kidneys. Now, the foods of today's video are a must for people with kidney disease because they have miraculous benefits, in my opinion. Well, onions are so rich in carcetin, a flavonoid antioxidant that can lower cholesterol levels and blood pressure, especially if you eat them every day. In one study, quercetin in onion reduced systolic blood pressure by up to 6 millimeters of mercury, which is amazing! And not many people know this. But onions are healthier when consumed raw. Red onions, in particular, are very tasty when raw and are also very rich in antioxidants. Try them in a salad. So, eat onions every day, in particular, raw red onions. Okay guys, our number six is even healthier. It's a tasty beverage that promotes gut health. Let's see it. Kombucha! This fermented tea not only has the same health benefits as tea, it's also rich in beneficial probiotics. Kombucha is made by adding specific strains of bacteria, yeast and sugar to black or green tea, then allowing it to ferment for a week or more. This fermentation provides your gut with healthy probiotics. And trust me when I say that probiotics really are key to your kidney health. If you take medications, antibiotics, or if you have diarrhea, constipation, even if you are stressed, your gut flora may suffer. And not many people know this, but it is now recognized that having an out of balance gut microbiome can cause diseases as serious as inflammatory bowel disease, but also obesity, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, and even metabolic syndrome. These are the main risk factors for kidney disease, by the way. So, it's clear, in my opinion, that taking care of our gut flora is key to improving kidney health. This is why probiotics rich foods and beverages such as kombucha, but also sauerkraut, tempeh, kimchi, and more can help with kidney health. Now, all these foods are healthy, but kombucha is somehow special. Its properties are so healthy for the kidneys, researchers now believe it may even repair kidney damage in some cases. Amazing! And if you also consider that it... Uh... Oh wait, I cannot drink alcoholic beverages. But it really tastes great and refreshing. Now guys, when you buy kombucha, always search for raw, unfiltered and unpasteurized preparations. Even better if they list the probiotics it contains on the label. Now, 
this drink may contain sugar and alcohol, both not harmful if you only drink it in moderation. And guys, kombucha is so healthy many people are even making it at home. You can buy a scoby, a culture of bacteria, and let it ferment in special conditions to make kombucha. So let me know if you are interested in knowing more about this healthy drink. Next food is a surprisingly healthy food. Many kidney disease patients are told to avoid it. But is that right? Let's eat it. I bet you guys have read that spinach is on the do not or limit foods lists of some websites. Yes, spinach is a high potassium food, but there is a reason why you should still consider eating it regularly. Spinach is, in fact, one of the few high potassium foods nutritionists and nephrologists are actually recommending to chronic kidney disease patients, at least good ones. The reason is dietary nitrate. Dietary nitrate is amazing. It can lower your blood pressure naturally. In particular, in a recent study, people eating spinach regularly experience reductions in blood pressure of up to 8 over 9 millimeters of mercury in just 7 days. And that's really a lot. You need to take an hypertensive pill to have this kind of result. And managing high blood pressure naturally is probably the single most important step towards a better kidney health. And don't forget that spinach is probably the best food in the world when it comes to fighting anemia. It is probably the best plant-based source of iron. But spinach also contains significant amounts of vitamin C, which is also key to improve iron levels in the blood. So I don't care if spinach often shows up on the do not or limit lists. Spinach is just too healthy to be avoided. Now guys, if you need to limit potassium, eat raw spinach. One cup of raw spinach only contains around 170 milligrams of potassium, so you could even eat one cup every day without problems. But obviously, when you cook them, you're not only going to lose some of the benefits, you are also going to turn one cup of greens into a tablespoon. And that's a lot more potassium per portion. So be careful, but still find a way to include spinach in your diet. So guys, what do you think? Are you already using these superfoods or will you start using them? Let me know in the comment section. Okay guys, we have seen how important it is to fight high blood pressure naturally for people with kidney disease. And while spinach really helps, if you want quick results to lower blood pressure naturally, try the 5 tips of today's video. 5 natural ways to lower blood pressure Number 1. The DASH way of eating. Follow the dietary approaches to stop hypertension. This is not a diet, so it's very easy to implement it even for people with kidney problems. You cut back on salt, load up on fruits and veggies, and round out your meals with whole grains, nuts, legumes, and other healthy foods such as those of my videos. 2. Add a sprinkling of seeds. Add unsalted seeds like pumpkin, flax, and sunflower to salads, soups, or oatmeal to help lower your blood pressure. Seeds are a source of vital minerals like magnesium, which helps control your blood pressure and relax your blood vessels. Number three, be a smart shopper. When you go grocery shopping, read every food label. You will be surprised by how many brands hide both sugar and salt, the two worst enemies of your heart and kidneys, into so-called healthy food items. Don't let them fool you. Number four, monitor your blood pressure at home regularly. This is the best way to find what works for you. For example, some people only have high blood pressure after drinking coffee. It's not common, so you will never know if you don't monitor your blood pressure. Others may be stressed, 
so their blood pressure may spike in stressful situations. Obviously, they will need a completely different approach to lower their blood pressure. So monitor your blood pressure. Number five, one of the most effective, try a natural diuretic. Herbal teas such as dandelion, horsetail, and hibiscus tea can help, but even regular teas such as green and black tea have diuretic properties. And don't forget chamomile tea. But there are also foods that can help. Our next entry in particular, our number four here is one of the most powerful detoxifying foods you can find. Let's take a look. Oh, asparagus! Talking about miraculously healthy foods, this succulent, savory vegetable contains a stimulating blend of nutrients that help boost energy, cleanse the urinary tract, and neutralize excess ammonia and other toxins. And asparagus is also a natural diuretic, meaning that it will help the kidneys do their job of help rid the body of excess salt and fluid. This is why asparagus is one of the healthiest superfoods in the world for people suffering from edema and high blood pressure. Now, today we have talked a bit about gut health. So also consider that asparagus is a great source of soluble fiber. Soluble fiber is the healthiest kind of fiber. It creates a special gel-like film in your gut to help absorbing sugar and carbs more slowly, great for people with diabetes. Actually, there is also a study published in the British Journal of Nutrition showing that asparagus can help control type 2 diabetes. Researchers say that the vegetable can keep blood sugar levels in check and even increase insulin production in the body. Amazing! Asparagus is also low in potassium, just 16 mg per spear. This means that you should totally make this one a regular on your table. Also, try asparagus row. Use a vegetable peeler or a knife to cut or shred the spears into fine pieces and add them to your favorite salad. I can guarantee you that your salad is gonna be delicious! Now guys, before I show you our top 3, Here's something that can give your kidneys an immediate boost. A lot of kidney disease patients are using this program to improve their kidney function and lower their creatinine levels. There are some very inspiring success stories here in Double O Kidney. People are reversing their kidney disease thanks to what they're learning from this program. If you want to give a fast boost to your kidney health, you should consider downloading it. I'm leaving a link down in the description. Check it out to know more. Time for our number three. This is one of the most powerful blood pressure lowering superfoods in nature. Let's see it. Beetroot. Beetroot is even more powerful than spinach when it comes to lowering blood pressure. A study published on a highly respectable paper shows that drinking two cups of a mix of three parts beetroot and one part apple juice can make your blood pressure go down by up to 10 over 5 millimeters of mercury. Just like for spinach, these benefits seem to be due to the high nitrate content of beetroot. Now, I placed beetroot even higher than spinach in my top 7 because consuming beetroot appears to be especially beneficial for people with diabetes. Beets lower the risk of common diabetes complications including nerve damage, eye damage, and also kidney damage. Beetroot in fact protects the kidneys from inflammation and has blood cleansing and purifying properties. It's able to help the body detox and cleanse the blood of heavy metals, toxins, and waste due to its compounds called glutathione. Amazing! That's why I've used beetroot to make a super healthy recipe that you may want to try. It's up here. 
Okay guys, our number two now. This is one of the healthiest foods on earth. It has amazing antiseptic, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory and kidney protecting properties you don't want to miss out. Let's see it. Turmeric! Oh, I love turmeric. I eat or drink it every day and in my opinion, you should too. This is because curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, is proven to blunt the effects of the inflammatory molecules and enzymes that cause chronic diseases. And many people don't know this. But a study showed that consuming 500 milligrams of curcumin was as effective as taking 50 milligrams of a common NSAID at reducing pain and inflammation. Incredible! Especially useful because while taking NSAIDs regularly causes great damage to the kidneys, turmeric will slowly help repair them while stopping the pain. Using turmeric as a spice and adding it to salads and veggies is great. But if you really want to benefit from turmeric, you need to eat it in smoothies or to drink it in golden milks. This is because turmeric doesn't work if you eat it by itself. Curcumin is very poorly absorbed by the body. You need something that enhances the absorption of curcumin, such as piperin, for example. I have a recipe up here with the powerful healing properties you may want to know more about. But before, our number one, let's see it. Number one is, let's see what's inside. Garlic. Okay guys, if there's one food that beats everything when it comes to kidney healing properties, it's garlic. Consuming garlic regularly has several proven benefits for people suffering from kidney disease. It can lower blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity in people with diabetes. It can lower blood pressure by up to 9 over 5 millimeters of mercury, more than antihypertension drugs. It can fight oxidative stress and inflammation. It can even fight high cholesterol if mixed with lemon. Now, if only there was a way to eat pro garlic without the bad breath and body odor. Oh wait, there's a way! Watch this video up here so I can show you! A new video is coming next Friday and I really hope to see you there. In the meantime, keep taking good care of your kidneys and be good to yourself. This is all for today. Thank you for watching!